join Darlene Sala now for a few moments of encouraging words as we reflect on God's care and provision for us. Enoch lived a long, long, long time ago. But Enoch has something to say to us in the 21st century. He was the father of Methuselah, the oldest man who ever lived. He was also the great-grandfather of Noah. The Bible tells us that after Methuselah was born, Enoch walked with God 300 years and had other sons and daughters. Then, when he became 365 years old, Enoch had a unique home going to heaven. Enoch walked with God. Then he was no more, because God took him away. Someone said that God and Enoch were walking and talking together, and God said, You know, Enoch, it's closer to my house than it is to yours. Why don't you just come home with me? And he did. Did you notice that it was after Enoch became a dad that he walked with God? Many a man gets along in life reasonably well without God until suddenly he has the responsibility of a son or daughter, and that tiny life becomes a turning point, and God becomes a priority. A dad has tremendous opportunities to make a difference in the lives of his kids. Let me mention a few. First, as a dad, you can be there for your kids' once-in-a-lifetime irreplaceable occasions, such as the first game or the first school award. Also, as a dad, you can give your child experiences that money can't buy. The gift of an expensive camera is no substitute for a trip to the zoo. Moreover, Dad, you can give your daughter self-esteem. You probably have no idea how much she's looking to you for approval and definition of who she is. And fourth, as a dad, you have an opportunity to know what's going on in your teen's mind just by listening when he wants to talk. Got kids, Dad? Walk with God. It will make a tremendous difference in your life and theirs. You've been listening to Darlene Sala's Encouraging Words. For more information on this program, visit Guidelines International Ministries at guidelines.org.